Hi, and welcome to video number two, which is what you need to have beforehand. Basically, what you need to have in terms of tools and things you need to have uh, before you actually connect to your FTP account. Now, obviously, I said this before, if you have a domain name web hosting, you've c connected all the DNS servers, you have your web hosting account ready, you have your everything ready, then you can go ahead and skip to video number four. If you don't have this information and you have no idea what I just said, then I would recommend that you continue watching this specific video and to the end. So in this case, you're going to need three things. You're going to need a domain name, you're going to need web hosting, and you're going to need access to FTP software. You can use any FTP software you like, but in this case, I'm using FileZilla. FileZilla is very, very easy to use, and the best of all, it is free, so you don't have to pull out your wallet or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm at Google right now, and I'm going to show you where to get a domain, where to get web hosting, and so forth. The place that I specifically use is Namecheap.com, and a lot of people use Namecheap.com. So it's Namecheap.com. So go to here. And the next thing is web hosting. You're going to need web hosting. Now, if you are having, if you're just getting started and you don't have a web hosting account yet, then I would specifically recommend HostGator.com, which is HostGator.com. So you need a domain name and you need web hosting. And the reason why is domain name is basically the address to wherever you are going to go to. So whatever is www.yourdomain.com, that domain name is, you're going to have to buy it from a domain registrar, whether it's namecheap.com, godaddy.com, and so forth. But in terms of cheapness, namecheap, and service, I would say over the years, namecheap.com has been reliable, so I highly, highly recommend them. So in order to figure out whether a domain name is available or not, you're going to have to enter it here. So if you're stuck, you know, you need to find a domain name and so forth. You need to figure out a domain name and type it here. So let's say for example, we'll call this FTP tutorial one, two, three. It's probably already taken, but we'll just check. Okay, so it is available, which means that I can purchase it on a yearly basis. Now, when you buy a domain name, you're not actually owning that forever. You're basically renting it. So imagine you go to the library and you're renting it instead of a couple months, you're renting it for a year. So in this case, I have to pay $9.98 a year for ftptutorial123.com. When I'm ready to purchase it, I just need to click on it and then add to cart and of course just like any other site where you buy items from you can go through and pay for that domain name once you buy that domain name i'm going to show you you know how to connect that domain name with a web hosting company and i'll show you that in video number three i want to make sure i break up everything in bite-sized chunks so that i don't overwhelm you hostgator.com is a good web hosting company that you can use you don't have to use HostGator. You can use any other hosting company you want. And like I said, repeated again, Namecheap.com. You don't have to use Namecheap's web hosting. You can use HostGator or anything else. Now with HostGator, you want to pick a plan. I'd recommend if you're starting out, just get a basic, simple plan. You can always upgrade later. What I would probably recommend is just the hatchling plan. Let's say, for example, you're getting a website. Uh, depending on the plan, it really just depends on what you need. Let's say, for example, you're only going to have one domain for the next half year. If that's the case, I would stick with this. If you're going to expand in the future and you're going to get a lot of domain names, then I would recommend this one or this one. But this one's probably pretty much all you need to get. So, of course, go through the process of basically just ordering and purchasing 
just like any other product, purchase that and that's it. Then the next thing is you're going to need FTP software. So I recommend FileZilla and you spell that as file Z I L L A. And you click here, it's the one at the top at filezilla-project.org. And I recommend just go ahead and download this. You don't need to download this. Just download the client for FileZilla client. So click on here. As you can see here, you got it for Windows, you have it for Linux, and you have it for Macintosh computers. So Macintosh and Windows, they're both compatible, which is a good thing, which means that it, it's not just specific towards Windows. So if you have Macintosh, you can still follow along. So go ahead and download. I recommend that you download the .exe files for Windows and for Macintosh and you know, download these files too. So download it, uh, double click on this file, install it and everything. And once you're installed and everything is ready, you can move on to video number three. Of course, you can do this later if you want to. So in video number three, I'm going to talk about how to take the domain name and connect it to whatever web hosting company you have. And I'm actually physically going to go inside my account and show you step by step what to do.